The airlines estimate that 45 million of us are flying over this holiday break, and that means as many as 100 million pieces of luggage checked in and screened at airports nationwide. More than 99 percent of them arrive at their destinations, believe it or not, on time with their owners. But have you ever wondered what happens after your bag takes off on the conveyor belt at the airport? We get an inside look tonight from NBC's Tom Costello. Mid-morning at Miami International. Three claim checks, three bags checked to Puerto Plata. And it's going to be D26, which is this way. And the biggest baggage system in the Western Hemisphere is once again being put to the test. 11 miles of computer-guided belts carrying 60,000 bags every day. But what you don't see is what's behind the counter. Zone 2, Zone 2, CTX 32, could you please flip the bags? From the baggage control room to the TSA's extra screening rooms. To get that behind-the-scenes view, we're checking this bag, but ours has three cameras. Down the belt, and very quickly, the bag passes through a giant TSA scanning machine looking for explosives. If your luggage is one of the very few that trips the alarm, screening officers could send it here for a hand search. Only 5% of bags are ever physically open. Today, laptops, wine bottles, Christmas gifts, and food are getting a second look and a pass. The officer knows what to look for because the image pops up right here on his screen. It could be electronics, could be liquids, anything dense. In this case, it's a tortilla press. Officer Luis Gomez has come across car parts, live spiders, even a freshly caught fish. And I'm thinking, is it going to start flopping around the table? You know, I got to make sure I keep it under control. Barcodes and security cameras record everything should a traveler claim something is missing. If you are caught stealing, then you're fired, and again, you're subject to criminal prosecution by local authorities. But the number of TSA officers arrested for theft is down 68% in 10 years. Meanwhile, the bag keeps moving through a complex network of sensors that ensures it ends up at the right plane. Most of it is just volume. Everyone carries two, three bags, you know, per customer. The advice for holiday travelers. Don't put any electronics in your bag. Don't check your car keys or your cell phone and no medicine. And put your trip itinerary inside your luggage on the remote chance it doesn't arrive with you. Tom Costello, NBC News.